Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this two-part video you should be able to calculate the percentage yield for a reaction. You should then be able to explain why the percentage yield may be less than 100%. Now in the last video we saw how to calculate the percentage yield for a reaction. We use this equation. The percentage yield equals the mass of product actually made divided by the maximum theoretical mass of product multiplied by 100. Remember that we cannot achieve greater than 100% yield. That would mean that we created atoms, and that's not possible. So in this video, I'm going to give you some examples to try yourself. Here's the first. A scientist reacted 130 grams of zinc with unlimited copper sulfate. They produced 25.4 grams of copper. Calculate the percentage yield. Pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, well, the question tells us that one mole of zinc could produce one mole of copper. So first, we've got to calculate the number of moles of zinc that we actually have. The number of moles of zinc is the mass we're given divided by the relative atomic mass. 130 divided by 65 tells us that we've got two moles of zinc atoms. Now, this means that we could produce two moles of copper atoms. So the maximum theoretical mass of copper that we could produce is the number of moles multiplied by the relative atomic mass of copper. So 2 moles multiplied by 63.5 gives us a maximum theoretical mass of 127 grams of copper. The percentage yield is the mass of the product actually made divided by the maximum theoretical mass of product multiplied by 100. So the question tells us that we've actually made 25.4 grams of copper. The maximum theoretical mass is 127 grams. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us a percentage yield of 20%. Here's another question for you to try. A scientist reacted 27 grams of beryllium with unlimited hydrochloric acid. They produced 144 grams of beryllium chloride. Calculate the percentage yield. Pause the video and try this one yourself. Looking at the equation, we can see that one mole of beryllium could produce one mole of beryllium chloride. We need to start by calculating the number of moles of beryllium that we're starting with. The number of moles is the mass divided by the relative atomic mass. We're reacting 27 grams of beryllium, and the relative atomic mass of beryllium is 9, so that means that we've got 3 moles of beryllium. From the equation, we know that 1 mole of beryllium could produce 1 mole of beryllium chloride. Therefore, 3 moles of beryllium could produce 3 moles of beryllium chloride. To calculate the mass of beryllium chloride we could produce, we multiply the number of moles by the relative formula mass of beryllium chloride, which is 80. So 3 moles multiplied by 80 tells us that we could produce 240 grams of beryllium chloride. Remember that the percentage yield is the mass of product actually made divided by the maximum theoretical mass of product multiplied by 100. So the question tells us that we've made 144 grams of beryllium chloride and the maximum theoretical mass is 240 grams. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us a percentage yield of 60%. Remember that you'll find plenty more questions on calculating percentage yield in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to calculate the percentage yield for a reaction. You should then be able to explain why the percentage yield may be less than 100%.